Hi, my name is Josh Burt from Action Corrosion. Today I'm here to talk about Glastion, our product which prevents black edge on mirrors and stops the lamination of laminated glass. Uh, formerly it was only available in liquid form, but now it's available in aerosol form. So end users, people that buy mirrors can apply it easily before they fix it to the wall, but also contractors can use it easily. So Glastion is a hard clear product that cures very quickly. What we're gonna do is start with mirrors and we're gonna show you how to apply it to a mirror. We're gonna to explain to you why mirrors do get black edge and why they also get uh, delamination in the middle of the mirror. And then once we've done that, we'll move on to the laminated glass and explain to you how to apply it to laminated glass. Mirrors such as this, uh, in high humidity areas where there's a shower, will get mirror black edge. It can, it's usually on the corner. You can get it in the middle of the mirror but generally when you use a cleaning chemical and you have the humidity from a shower, it runs down and sits in the channel and you'll get the black edge along the bottom there. So what this product does is seal that, that bottom edge and all around and the backing before you put the mirror on. So it's a very unique product. Experts and contractors in the field of glazing have reported to us that the incidences of mirror black edge is more common these days. And I'm just gonna to explain to you what has happened and what has changed in the manufacturing process to allow this to happen. Uh, this is a small mirror here. Uh, as you can see, it's virtually a piece of glass with the backing on it. Now, the backing used to consist of the foil, which could be uh, metal backing or aluminium. Then it had a layer of copper, a thin layer of copper. Then it had the top coat on it. So essentially it had three layers. What's happened today with mirror manufacturing is they've just moved to the thin foil layer and then just the top coat. So it doesn't have that added protection. And that's why we're seeing more incidences of mirror black edge on the outside, but also the lamination on the back of the mirror. So it's important not only to get into that sharp edge and protect that from the humidity in the bathroom, but also to hit the back of the mirror. Um, and that's what we're gonna show you now. So what we've got here is a mirror that we've just bought from the local hardware store. It's a little thinner than the small one that we had, but the principle's the same. You can see that there's a, a white backing um, on a piece of glass. So previously with the liquid, we would have to brush it on and then get, get into the corner here. But with the aerosol, it's a lot, a lot simpler. So it gives a nice wide fan. So what we're gonna do is just coat the whole back of the mirror and just at the end there just get into that sharp edge so you can see that it's shiny at the moment that'll be touch dry in 10 minutes um, after about 20 minutes we're going to put a second coat on and then we'll come back okay it's been 20 minutes now the uh the backing is totally dry, so we'll apply a second coat. And just hit that edge one more time. So what we're doing now obviously is before it gets installed on the wall or in the frame. So um, it's easy for you to do it with smaller mirrors yourself or if you've got a contractor who's going to do it, or a builder, it really is, uh, it's a no-brainer. You can get this cam for under $40, and basically it'll protect the back of your mirror because once it starts getting black edge, you'll see it every day, every morning, every night. And it's going to be annoying because you could have just spent 40 bucks on a can, and you could have prevented that from happening on your nice large mirror. So a can like that will do a large mirror. This demonstration is just on a small mirror, but a can like that will do a will do a huge mirror. So you're looking at a three to four square meter mirror that one one can will do. So an aerosol can such as this would do a number of mirrors. And even if you're buying furniture with mirrors, you can continue to coat them as you as you purchase purchase them. 
So it's been 20 minutes again. Again, it's dry. So the third and final coat just goes on the edge. So we recommend two heavy coats on the back, um, which includes the edge. And then the final third coat, just that sharp edge. And once it's had the, uh, the three coats on it, leave it for an hour and a half, two hours before you put it on the wall and it'll be perfectly dry. So in this video, we're gonna show our testing. We had Bureau Veritas do the testing for us. And uh, what we did, we put mirrors in a salt spray chamber test that weren't coated. And then we had ones that were coated in glastion. Um, we also did the same with laminated glass. Uh, the ones that weren't coated, we managed to get to delaminate on the edge and the ones that were coated were in perfect condition. So at the end of this video, we will show you those results. Um, and you can go to the website, uh, actioncorrosion.com.au to view them on the, on the website too. Okay, now we're gonna put mirrors aside and we're gonna talk about laminated glass. I've got a small piece of laminated glass here. Essentially, it's two pieces of glass with a, an interlayer. Uh, this one's got a PVB interlayer, but there's, a, there's numerous uh, interlayers on the market. Uh, what happens is in a, a coastal environment, in an outdoor environment, in a high moisture environment, that interlayer can be affected by moisture. Um, and when it does delaminate, you'll see bubbling on the edge. Uh, what Glastion does is seal that edge. So the interlayer isn't affected by the moisture. It's got very good uh, UV stability. So we've done external testing over many years on glass and we haven't had any deterioration in three years on glass of, of the product. So once it's on, it'll give excellent protection of that inner layer. So that particular glass is used uh, as safety glass on balconies, on balustrades, but also shower screens and, and those particular areas. So. It's a very versatile product that can be used in all of those areas. We'll now cross to a short video showing glastion applied to an actual piece of PVB interlay without the glass, without the glass outside of it. So it's an actual piece. You can see that it flexes with the inner layer. Um, glastion allows thermal expansion of the glass, so it's in full sun, allows that expansion and contraction and won't separate from the edge. So we'll, we'll show you that now um, and, and show you the waterproofing qualities of the product. In this video, glastion has been applied to the centre panel of this piece of PVB interlayer to demonstrate the flexibility of the product. Glastion allows thermal expansion and movement of laminated glass and mirrors. The same piece of PVB interlayer is sprayed with water to show Glastion's waterproofing capabilities. Note the water sprayed on the treated area beads off the PVB. Glastion has undergone rigorous independent testing by Bureau Veritas. The mirror panels underwent salt spray testing at high heat and humidity whilst constantly being sprayed with a salt solution. Glastion treated mirror panels were compared with untreated ones. After 240 hours, there was evidence of delamination in the untreated samples, whereas the glastion treated samples were sound. The salt spray chamber test continued well beyond the standard 168 hours to 718 hours. At that point, the glastion coating was still in sound condition with excellent waterproofing capabilities. Compatibility testing was performed by AGC Flat Glass International at their Indonesian and Denmark facilities. Glastion was successful in that testing and is now a compatible sealer to their mirror range. We'd like to thank you for your interest in Glastion Mirror and Glass Edge Sealer. If you go to our website www.actioncorrosion.com.au, you can find your local stockists.